today on Catch, Clean, and Cook. I'll be in the Mammoth Mountains fishing for trout. I'll show you how to prepare the fish, and then we'll be making a delicious pan-fried trout with my homemade Kubion sauce, jalapeno cheese cornbread, and a tasty sweet butternut and acorn squash on the side. Hope you're hungry, folks. Don't need no frozen food from no supermarket aisle. We got Mother Nature's bounty, babe. We'll get our grub out in the wild. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining me here today on our first adventure of Catch, Clean, and Cook. And I'm your host, Christy Schoen. And you're joining me here in Northern California at one of the most beautiful lakes in the Eastern Sierras, Convict Lake. And I've got my good friend, Pat, and he's also a guide at Rick's Sporting Good over in Mammoth. And uh, when it comes to trout fishing, he's about the most experienced and knowledgeable guy around. And Mr. Moses, you're going to take me to this trout promised land that I need so bad, right? Getting trout, that's for sure. It's going to be great. <laughs> Convict Lake was named after an incident in 1871 when a group of convicts broke out of the Nevada State Prison in Carson City. A posse led by Sheriff Robert Morrison caught up with the convicts and was killed by the outlaws on the mountain near the south shore of the lake. Mount Morrison bears his name today. Sitting about 8,000 feet above sea level, Convict Lake is a mile long and a half a mile wide. The clear, cold waters of this area offer some of the best trout fishing ever. There's a lot of fish schooling right through here, right on the edge of the shallow where it drops off. So try to work right on that and see if you can see the fish schooling back and forth through here. How can you tell if they're schooling? Um, they'll just swim one way for about 20, 30 feet, then they'll, they'll turn around and swim the other way. Oh my God, I got one. Chip up. I got one. Tip up. Good job, keep that tip up. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. Let him run a little. Keep tip up. Oh my gosh. I think you got awesome. him. You got him. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Nice fish. Oh. So this is what a Alpert trout in Convict Lake looks like. This is a rainbow trout, so look how pretty the color is right here. You can see it goes from a dark green, black color to a pink, to an orange, all the way down to a, to a peach color. And it's beautiful, gorgeous fish. Now, beautiful. notice how the red the gill plates are here? Oh, yeah. That's going into the fall spawning colors. So Wow. Um, these fish are getting ready to spawn, and when they go into their spawning stage, they start to get really bright red. Versus if you catch them early in the spring, they'll be more of a sil silver color. Now that we caught it, I'll show you how to fillet it, and then we're going to cook it. Now that you've seen me catch this beautiful rainbow trout, I'm going to show you how to fillet it. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is make sure that you have a very sharp filleting knife, something like this. And that's what you want. You don't want a regular kitchen knife. You want a filleting knife. You're going to turn the fish over to where the gills are on this side and the stomach is facing you. What you're going to do is you're going to make an incision right behind the gills. And sometimes it can be tough and that's why it's important you have a sharp knife. Then you're going to go all the way down until you get to the stomach, just like that. You're going to turn your knife about 45 degree angle and just follow it all the way down. You got to use a little force with it. Oh, here's a female fish look at all the row on it. Wow. That's the whole part of cleaning anything, you know. It's, it's going to be messy, but you just clean that, that row off the cutting board. Look at this beautiful piece of filet here. Isn't that amazing? This is huge. Look how pretty that is. Boom. All right, so now that we have our filet, and look, oh my gosh, there's some bones in there. So you're going to cut that out. It's really easy. Usually the bones are right in the middle of the filet. So what you want to do is just go back in here, make like a V-cut, 
in the middle of the meat, just like that. And like I said, take your time, don't rush it. Easy enough. Boom, look at that. You got yourself a beautiful piece of filet. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm ready to 